Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Brad and Angelina's situation. As we know, there has been a, um, a release of court documents showing more details about what actually transpired in the relationship between Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie and what, you know, led up to divorce. And so I wanted to take a bit, of, do a bit of a deep dive with the cards and look into what Tarot sees as the cause of divorce between the two from each other's perspectives, right? We're going to look into Angelina Jolie's perspective. We're also going to look into Brad Pitt's perspective. And we're going to look into, um, you know, why it wasn't working from either one of them, their perspective, okay, how they felt about divorce. And then we're going to do a, just a layer of cards at the bottom here as far as what's coming next in that connection and what will unfold next with their court drama and their divorce or proceedings or what they're you know the different things that they're working on as far as trying to split the assets i guess um they own a winery together there was just a lot of things they're still trying to work through and i think he's trying to get her to sign an nda so i'm just going to look into what's going to come from all that but first of all we're going to look at what led to the marriage falling apart from either one of those perspectives we're going to start with angelina jolie and oh, by the way, if you want to see the card shuffling and card selection process, please note that I have moved that section to the end of the video. Okay, let us begin. Let's get in there. So we are getting the fool from Angelina Jolie's side. I think she just wanted a new beginning. She wanted a new beginning. She wanted a fresh start. She just wanted to be free. This is card is about freedom. Um, yeah, definitely. That's what I'm seeing there for sure. Let's go ahead and move on to the next card below, beneath that one. Yeah, she wanted to just put an end to the relationship. She was done. Her heart was broken. She'd mourned the loss of him. The guy she thought he was, I feel like she just was like, I'm, I just kind of want to be done with it. I feel like I want to put an end to this relationship and I want to start a new beginning for myself. Target a goal-oriented person. She had goals. This was her goal. This was her goal. She wanted to end this relationship and have a new beginning, okay? That's one of the first reasons she went for ending the marriage. And we're gonna get more details. We're getting it awards because of domestic instability, because of domestic rows, fights, okay? Um, things, impulsivity, things that were impulsively said or done. Um, she just felt like too many chances were taken by a very powerful person. You can see the Iron Man hand here, kind of. Uh, too many chances were taken by him, and he, he put his hands on her too many times. You can see the hand, Iron Man's hand down there with the little light shining through. Maybe this is the gauntlet, I don't know. But it just feels like she just had this vibe like, there was this vibe like, nah, you, you played your cards, and you put your hands on me, and she feels like Brad Pitt showed what his impulses were. What were his leanings? She now knew what his instincts are for, what he does. Next we are going, yeah, she feels like he has an instinct to hurt her heart. She feels that he's a heartbreaker. She wanted to end the relationship because he broke her heart again and again and again in very painful ways. Next we're getting Tulip, great passion. Yeah, she felt like there's something that Angelina Jolie is very passionate about. And she feels like Brad Pitt impulsively and instinctively hurt that thing again and again and again and it's something very precious very valuable you can see you know tulips are very expensive at one point in time i don't know if you guys knew this but there was a time i'm not sure what country but they got so expensive because they were so precious and they were just so valuable there's something that angelina jolie values immensely that he tortured and hurt a lot okay and we can get more clarification possibly we'll see what the rest of the cards are saying judgment she had an awakening she had an epiphany she realized that there is something about him his impulsivity that she needed to get away from she needed to wake up and move on from okay um and then next we are getting number 20 wow could it be she felt that he was very possessive of her and prevented her from having relationships with others. Maybe prevented her from having a, a warm relationship with other people in her life that she cherished and loved, perhaps a young one. I'm just getting delicate young vibes from this tulip. And she feels like he tried to basically tell her, no, 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 don't coddle so much. Don't be so friendly with the kids. Don't be so friendly with the children. They don't need that. 
come with me, stay, stay away from the children. She felt like she wanted to show sympathy to ch the children. She wanted to be their friend. And he was like, no, don't be the children's friend. Be a parent, right? So they just had different point of view. And we got skills. Keep your life in balance. Mm. So she just feels like she wanted to get away from him because she felt like he wanted m her to be mostly for him instead of for the kids. And she preferred to be a lot more for the kids than he was letting her be. I don't know if she wanted to be more for the kids than he was for her, but she felt like he wasn't letting her be as much for the kids and all the relationships that she treasured in her life in a balanced and fair way. She needed it to be balanced and fair. She felt like, and this is Brad Pitt, she felt like Brad Pitt was too controlling of her and trying to tell her, no, 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 you're too affectionate, you're too warm, you're coddling them. And she was just like, oh, I'm done with this. I need a new chapter. This doesn't work for me. Okay, and, and she knew that. She wanted to restore that balance into her life. That's why she wanted the freedom to be able to do this, to restore the balance. She wanted to get back to being uh, passionate about this young person she loves again or about this project. It could be a project too that she loves and that he would just slam repeatedly and just deny and slam. And she just had had it. She just had it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Brad Pitt's side and see what he thinks led to the end of the relationship or led to the dissolution of the marriage. Let us begin. We're getting the three of pentacles. Mm. So he feels like maybe he wanted to do teamwork with her, but she wasn't interested. He wanted to co-parent with her. He felt like maybe she didn't want to co-parent with him. We can see two parents here or two adults and a kid in the middle. And... It feels like, you know, he's like, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to teach you how to do this. And so it had to do with, you know, his practical involvement. He felt like him practically wanting to be involved in raising the kids caused, in some kind of way, led to the end of the relationship. We got number 35. Oh, I see. You know, we see three people up here and now we see three people down here. So I think that he felt like, hey, if we're doing this together, then why is it sometimes you, you take them to go do special things with them? Right. They should be doing it. He thought that they should be doing everything for the kids together. He didn't think that she should be isolating the kids like from him and go do other things with them and go do more with them. OK. Right. So what I'm seeing here is that he got jealous. He thought we should do it together all the time. Don't ever take them. I'm feeling like maybe she would take them out to go do some special activities that they used to do before he came around. And he's like, but I don't want to do that. I think we should do it together. And he would get jealous and want to control and rein in this relationship. So he knew that. He's self-aware enough to know that he felt like th that sh she was going off with her son. Yeah. And would go do special things with him. And he didn't like that. Throne, position of authority. Yeah. He was like, I'm here now. I'm the man. <laughs> okay. He felt like, I'm the man, not your son. Your son's not the man. The son you take out, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like he felt like competitive with with uh, Angelina Jolie's son yeah he was competing a little bit or he just felt like hey I'm the boss okay so we need to do it together at teamwork the way I'm preferring don't do with him just go do whatever you like I think this is crazy I hope he really was just not that controlling where he was thinking trying to curtail or limit these relationships um, from being what they were there was a pre-existing bond and he can see that and he feels like if I'm the king then I'm the king I don't want to see anyone else clinging to you. So I do think he was competing with uh, maybe perhaps, um, what was her son's name? Mm. Was it Pax? Uh, I, I think it was Pax or Maddox. Yeah, I feel like he didn't like that relationship, okay? And he, he tried to put his foot down about, about saying, hey, don't isolate with him. Let's do things with him together. Let's stop that, you know, because it's, it's alienating me. He felt alienated by it. See, he's behind the wall. I mean, like, hey, where are you guys going? What? They're just taking off. Why didn't they tell me about this trip? Why didn't they tell me about this activity? He didn't like that. Okay, next we're getting the Two of Swords. Okay, someone was kind of undecided about something. Uh, and then we're getting... Ooh, look at that yummy cake this woman's serving up. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I feel that he feels that he was kind of undecided about how like generous she can be. He felt like... He felt like part of what led to the divorce was that he put something out of his mind. He forgot. He was thoughtless, right? No thought, right? The head's gone. He wasn't careful enough when it came to maybe sharing, right? Being fair, being even-handed, maybe. Let's get more information. 
getting turtis. Slowly but surely getting ahead. He just felt like maybe part of what led to the end of the marriage was that he was slow to um, adopt to being even-handed and generous. Yeah. He was slow to move when it came to being generous, maybe. I don't know. That's very interesting. So this could be monetary because we're seeing dollar signs here. This could be a monetary thing where he felt like maybe he wasn't... Maybe he was slow to give out adequate profits on some kind of business. Maybe he felt like there was some sort of business that they did together. But it was slow to grow and it, maybe he was slow to hand out the rewards. Whenever they have profits, he was slow to give those rewards to Angelina. And maybe that was one of the reasons he thought that she wanted a divorce. But I think it was less about that for her and more about you're controlling me. You're trying to keep me from having the kind of relationship I want to have with my children. Um, he, that he was too impulsive. He did things. He didn't say things to hurt her heart. He didn't say things, hurtful things about her passion and the things she's passionate about, like her children. So, yeah, I feel that um, he doesn't realize how big of a role that played, I don't think. He's thinking it's more of a monetary thing. He thinks, hmm, maybe that business we got into wasn't as, as profitable. And she was saying, where's my piece? And I was slow to give it to her. And he thinks that's the reason. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the next situation is. All believers. So we're seeing skyscrapers here. You know, it takes a lot to get all this together. This is big money. This is a lot of people working on this together to create something. And I see someone walking away from it. Okay. Next, we are getting number eight. Right. So working together to create something and not playing together, right? I, th I think corporate buildings, I think work, I think nine to five, I think a job, I think uh, business. And here we're seeing fun, playing, right? So he's thinking this dichotomy had something to do with it. Let's see, leg, stepping into a new experience, right? So what I'm feeling from this last row is he feels like he wanted to move on from this um, routine that Angelina had set up for the family. She built some things already. She had made some things a certain way. She'd been doing, doing it like that for a long time before he came along. And I see that he was even walking away from it. Like, she, this, this stuff was already built. Like, I, I had nothing to do with that. I had no input. I couldn't add anything to it. So I had to give up and walk away. Okay? And I feel like that's what it was is he decided... You know, you know, they're already having fun without me. Yes, he thought that Angelina had fun with the kids without him. And this is what led him to think, you see someone walking away. You see someone walking away in the background right there. And then we see legs stepping into a new experience, someone moving on from it. So I think he feels like he decided that they were already having fun. They were already good the way they were. And you can't fit any more people onto this bike. It takes three and that's about as far as it goes. And he feels like he just wanted to move on to something else. He just felt like there was no room for him there. And he had to move into new territory in order to find some room for himself. Okay? He just felt like their lives were already full and if he was trying to get into it, but there was no room for him and he had to move on. Yeah. And he feels like this is part of why their relationship fell apart. Very interesting. Okay, so let's go and take a look at what is coming up next for this, you know, legal situation between Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt and what is this, you know, connection going to bring next? What's the next development? Thank you. I'm going to go with this card here. One, I'm going to go with this, two, three, and we're getting these two. So I'll put one here and one in the middle. Okay, first card we're getting is Whoa, look at that. They're going to come to some kind of reconciliation or some kind of compromise. They will reunite again, possibly as friends or even potentially romantic. We'll see. Yeah, I'm predicting it. This is a prediction. They're going to come to some kind of compromise. Perhaps it has to do with properties. Okay, it could be, it could be even that vineyard. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I think she already sold it. Uh, whatever. My point is, they're going to come to some kind of compromise. I do see that coming ahead, like an agreement about how things are going to go. Yeah, I feel like uh, there's going to be vitality, success, happiness. And if they do go back to dating each other again, then it's going to be a very successful union. Joy coming into their situation. Uh, I feel like wishes are going to be met when it comes to, hey, whatever is mine, I want it to come back to me. I want what's mine to be mine. And I feel like if Angelina Jolie was seeking assets or seeking to retain something or, or get something back, she will succeed. If uh, Brad was looking to get something back, he will succeed. 
Let's see what the rest of the cards are saying. We're getting the Ace of Swords. Mm. They're going to accept. They're going to accept a new order of the day. Yeah, they're going to accept a new order of the day. They're going to accept the the court order. Okay, so whatever court order they get, they're going to finally accept that and go with that. Okay. And I see that someone being independently wealthy, so they will come to some kind of compromise on how they divvy up properties, how they divvy up um, the, the material aspects of their situation, and they're going to accept the, the court order that comes up next. They're going to accept it, and I feel like they're each going to enjoy their own wealth and their own successes individually on their own terms, in their own gardens. And that is what I see coming up for Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt and their connection. What was it like? What led to divorce? And what is to come? What's the next step? What's coming into this? I do think they're going to reach a resolution and things are going to go fine for everybody. Everyone's going to be in their own garden, right? Here's someone in their garden. Here's someone in their own garden. They're just going to be doing their own thing and they're both going to be happy, content, satisfied with the way things turn out. And that is all I'm seeing the cards for today. If you've enjoyed this reading, then hit like share subscribe turn on the notification bell so you continue to get readings from me and if you have any questions or you have you have a request for a future reading then leave me a comment and that will do it all right take care and bye